Okay, for part two, um, we've asked to find the area of the triangle. So in order to do that, we need to use the fact that the area is going to be a half a b sine c, where a and b are the two sides between um, the angle that we're going to use. We only have two sides, so the angle we need to going to use is going to be that one. Um, we worked out in part one that this angle up here was 2.346 radians. Um, angles in a triangle are going to add up to pi radians, so we're going to need to find C by doing pi minus the other two angles. So take off pi over 6, I'm going to take off that 2.346. Just incidentally, I've stored that number into my calculator um, so that I can use it to get an accurate value of C. And then I'm going to store this value in my calculator. If you don't know how to store numbers into your calculator, I have made a video on it. It's a really useful um, technique that you can use to keep your answers nice and accurate. So that gives us 0 0.272 radians. Um, and so the area is gonna be, area, not A. Area is gonna be a half of 10 times seven times sine of that angle there, 0.272. Um, so that's going to be 35 sine, I've stored that in angle B, or memory B, so that's 9.403.